Let's play! Hey there guys, and welcome to part 4 of Persona 4. Now 4 symbolically means uh, death in Japanese culture. I'm just that much of a horrible, horrible weeb that I know that. So hopefully things don't get really weird and crazy and death filled this part. But I make no promises. Let us head up. Just watch, I guess, the Midnight Channel. See? It all worked out in the end, like some weird Kubrick film. We're gonna get a fancy anime cutscene? No, not yet. You can hear it raining outside. I love that sound. Oh, the sound of rain is makes me fall asleep. It's almost midnight. Your soulmate appears if you look into a TV on a rainy night. Come on, I better see Chie, I better see Chie. Could Chie's story be true? We shall see as we look into it. Oh, here we go. You know things get serious when it gets fancy anime. So we change it to channel 4 or Oh hey, something's happening. Doesn't look like Chie. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou art the one who opens the door. That was pretty spooky. Almost skeleton tier. Don't touch it. No! Don't touch it! Oh, fancy as a touchscreen TV. Can you get angry birds on it? Strange. That wasn't Chie. Oh god! <laughs> Literally had- Ow! Oh! Bro! Don't come in! Uh, kind of. Okay. Okay. Okay, so... You know how I was joking about this part being, like, death-filled? Well, there's a power surge that, like, killed my microphone and- Oh, God. Okay. We're back, though. Good night, Nanako. Nanako seems to have returned to her room. That's good. What just happened? That's what I was asking. You decide to talk about it with the others tomorrow. Okie dokes. Because calling them on the cell phone about this crazy supernatural event won't happen now. Oh, hi, Eliza from Skullgirls. Why are you here? Hello, everyone. My name is Kimiko Sofu, and I don't know how much you know about world history, but I'm an expert, also a fanatic, also unmarried. I wonder why. First, a little about me. I love to use my douster to look for lost items, and there's nothing quite like a romance. In fact, world history is a magnificent romance. History is like a river. It was born in the past and flows ever forward. I hope we can enjoy the profundity of history together. <laughs> she has a she has a 90s anime woman laugh. I want to try. They're always fun to do. <laughs> I've always wanted to do those. It's fun. And since this is my first lecture, I'll start with an easy question. Our transferee, Mr. Know Who. Please stand up. Uh, yes, ma'am. When did A.D., in other words, Anno Domini, begin? When... Jesus was born, right? Cause it's... 
he, like, Anno Domini means the year he reigns. Right? You gave the answer you think is correct. Ah, you seem to understand this well. And does anyone know what BC stands for? Oh, I'll just tell you. Before Christ, to the years before Christ was born. This is, of course, the way we count our years today. But it wasn't adopted in Western Europe until the 15th century. That is very interesting. <laughs> it was around that time that there were many religion, religious wars and power shifts occurring. This is really cool. I enjoy learning about this stuff. Anywho, the world's beliefs have been in an ever-flowing tide since humanity began to emphasize religion. Most holidays are related to religion, yo. If you do some research, you may find some interesting facts. Regardless of the culture or tradition, the tide decides who will survive in the present and the future. And those survivors ensure that their, their will is passed on to the next generation. But now it's time to start from the beginning. Let's look at the origin of civilization. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. That's not how it works. You get increased knowledge first and then you know the right answer due to that. Also, they didn't meet up before class to talk about this. What's up with the body being hung upside down? It's so freaky. Hung period, really, but okay. Is it supposed to be like mimicking an execution? It's messed up. My senpai told me it was a third year named Saki who found the body. Wow, great job covering that up, news. Sup, Rosuke? Um... You seem a little... A little a, weird. It's not really that important, but... Well, yesterday on TV, I, uh... Oh, I... You never mind. Look, I'll tell you later. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here right now. Let's go. It's okay. Rosuke, did you hear the rumor? Oh, is this another rumor or the rumor from before? Saki Senpai is supposedly the one who discovered that body. Oh. I wonder if that's why she looked so down. She doesn't seem to be at school today either. Huh? Hey, Yukiko, are you helping out at the inn today, too? Things are really out of hand right now. I'm sorry. Hmm. Is it just me, or does Yukiko-san seem way stressed out today? Maybe she was the murderer. Uh, no. That doesn't make sense. She was with us. I guess they're running her ragged. Yeah. By the way, did you see it last night? Huh? By it, you mean brief flashes of possibly Saki-senpai? Well, what about you? She saw me, totally. I did! I seriously saw a girl. Oh. No. But my soulmate's a girl? What's that supposed to mean? Means my entire life's purpose is not. I couldn't quite tell who it was, but it was a girl for sure. Her hair was brown, about shoulder length, but she was wearing our school uniform and... Hey... I think that's the same person I saw. Hmm. I couldn't make out that much detail, though. The image I saw was much blurrier. Wait, so you saw it too? And we saw the same girl? Does that mean we have the same soulmate? That's weird. Also polygamy. How should I know? How about you? Did you see it? Yep. You told them about what what happened last night. It sounds like we all saw the same person. But weird voices aside, what was that about getting sucked into your TV? Yep. Were you that tired last night? You must have just fallen asleep in front of your TV. That'd be one interesting dream, though. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so they're willing to accept the fact that some supernatural force... Shows them apparently their soulmate, but anything beyond that, such as getting sucked into the TV, which we've already established something supernatural is going on with, doesn't make sense. I like the part where you got stuck because your TV was too small. That's pretty realistic. <laughs> well, if it had been bigger, that... Oh, that reminds me.
reminds me. Our family's been talking about buying a bigger TV. You are just the queen of strange transitions. Oh, yeah? Well, flat screen TVs are definitely in these days. Yeah, but they don't have the same... Like, for playing old games, they don't have the same quality, you know? It's like, if I was playing this on a new TV, it'd look like Wanna go garbage. Check them out on the way back? We're beefing up our electronics department this month. Wow, you're just Mr. Self-Advertisement, aren't you? Oh, definitely! My parents don't know anything about electronics, and I've just gotta see my kung fu movies on the big screen! What ha <laughs> We've got some pretty big ones in stock. I bet they'd be big enough for you to fit into. <laughs> Are you coming on to me? They don't believe you at all. You decided to go to Juness with the others. Okie dokes. Juness Electronics Department. Wow, this is huge! And holy crap, it's expensive. Who buys something like this? Someone with money? Who's not in I don't school? Know. Rich folks? Yep, that's Honestly, about right. Not many people shop for TVs here. That's why we don't have clerks around. So, people can just literally come in and steal them because there's nobody working here? What? That makes no sense. Huh. Not worth trying then, I guess. Well, at least looking's free. It's true. Bring your movie here and watch it. Pull up a couch. Nope. Can't get in figures you guys didn't try hard enough <laughs> this proves it it was all just a dream besides these flat screen TVs are so thin you just end up on the other side ah, what am I saying <laughs> so Chien, what kind of TV are you guys in the market for oh no they said they wanted one that's cheap you got any suggestions well it won't be that size Touch it. Well, miss, uh, might I suggest this one over here? It's the newest model just released this spring. What? That's not cheap at all. There's way too many zeros. I should have asked. Remember when I thought this game was an RPG? This is this isn't an RPG yet. Come on. Connections, right? Come on, hook me up. getting slightly annoying with the constant disconnections. Oh no. Mm -mm. Hey, how about this one over here? It's a display unit. It's a little old, but touch it. Touch it. With a TV this big, you really might be able to go inside. Oh, there we go. He did the thing. Oh yeah. What kind of TV do you <laughs> he said my name. Huh? Something wrong, Yusuke? Is his arm in the TV? I told you, you didn't listen to me. Whoa. Uh, is that some kind of <laughs> new model? L like, with a new function? <laughs> it's like a super touch screen. That's what it is. Hell no. Kidding me? Did you really stick your hand through the screen? Yep. Uh, it's exactly oh, what I this said I did. That's some magic trick, man. <laughs> so how's it work, huh? What's the magician's secret? Isn't he the arcana of the magician? Is that the joke? Because ha 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 ha. Both of them staring at you, astonished. You might be able to put in more than just your arm. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you know what I'm saying. Oh, there he goes. Hey, don't do that. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, my God. There's empty space inside. You tell them that. It's like, just imagine it's like, hey, guys. It's like, empty in here. 
That'd be... That'd be funny. What do you mean, inside? Inside the TV, where I am. Okay, we've established that this is normal for me. What do you mean, empty space? Like, literally, there's nothing occupying the space. Therefore, it is the opposite of occupied space. Empty. Seems very spacious in here. Might as well bring in a couch. Maybe a mini fridge. You know. What do you mean, spacious? Oh my god, that's English words. You should know. I mean, what's going on? We've established... Holy crap. I think this is all too much for my bladder. What does that have to do with this? What the? Are you gonna pee your pants? I've been holding it in all day. I haven't had a chance to go. I can't hold it anymore. Shit, customers, they're coming. What am I watching? We've got a guy half stuck in a TV here. It's like the Three Stooges, but anime. What are we gonna do? Oh, they're gonna crash. Oh, we fell into the TV. Game over. Well, guys. That was a fun Let's Play of Persona 4. Join me next time when we play something else. That sounded like breaking backs. Ow. I landed right on my wallet. Man, where the heck are we? What is this place? Is that some place inside Jeunesse? Hell no it isn't. I mean, we fell through a TV. Actually, uh... What is going on here? Okay. So now we're in the TV world. Oh, so, uh, we're still alive, right? Well, it depends on your definition of alive. I'm just kidding, we're totally alive. Uh, yeah, are you guys okay? That sounded like your backs completely broke on the fall. Your understanding has increased. I think my butt's cracked now. Of course it is! What, his butt being cracked? Whoa. Wh what now? Did you wet your pants? No, stupid. Look around. This place is pretty creepy. Is this a, a studio? All this fog? Or is it smoke? There's no place like this in Inaba, is there? Hell no. But man, this place is huge. What are we gonna do? Uh... It's up to you. You can lead us. What are you talking about? Look, we need to get home and... Huh? Wait a minute. Which way did we come in from? Obviously up. I don't see a way in. Or out. What? That can't be right. How could that be? I don't know. Don't ask me. I can't take this anymore! I want to go home! Okay, so how? <laughs> We're doomed! That's it! What? Don't say stuff like that! Let's calm down and think about this. Alright, so we need to find a way out. Standing here Is won't there solve that. A way out of here? We got in. So we must be able to get out somehow. Oh, that's true, but... If there's no exit, we're trapped, so let's cross our fingers and look around. But don't cross both fingers, because that reverses the luck. Okay. Welp. Are we actually going to explore? Nope! Well, that's a spooky door. I don't know if I want to go into that door. What is this place? Feels different from where we were before. It looks like we're in some kind of building, but damn, this fog's so thick I can hardly see. 
Are you sure we're not wandering farther away? I can't be positive, but we gotta trust our instinct a little. I mean, it's better than just standing there. I mean, really. Just gotta trust the man. I know, but... It seems there's no choice for now but to continue onward. Will do. No, come on. I don't want to leave you behind. Of all people. It's your, your best girl. A bedroom. That wasn't what I was hey, expecting. Is it me or is the fog lighter here? It isn't like in a tight quarters indoors. That's how fog works. Seems to work. No service. What a surprise. Can't you guys slow down a little? It's hard enough to see where you're going. <gasps> what the? What is that? It's a dead end. There's no exit. Oh. It keeps getting creepier and creepier the further we go. Uh, I can't hold it any longer. Why didn't you pee somewhere on the way? My bladder's gonna explode. Oh. Yosuke, what are you doing? I mean, when nature calls. You're going here? Oh, you have got to be kidding. Turn around. I can't go if everyone's watching. How do you know we're watching? I can't do it. It's all your fault if my bladder bursts. Like I care. Ooh, burnt. Roasted. Anyways, what's with this room? Check out these posters. Their faces are all cut out. Somebody must really hate this person. Dude, this chair and rope, that kind of arrangement is never good. <laughs> I just, his delivery on that was hilarious. It's like, I don't know, man. It's spooky stuff, man. It reminds me of freaking Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. It's tied in a noose. Is this a scarf? Huh. Come on, let's go back to where we came from and, and look somewhere else for an exit. Hey, I think I've seen that poster before. Who cares? Let's go. I am sick of this place. And I'm not feeling so good. Now that you mention it, me too. Your body does feel heavy. Could it be due to this place's oppressive atmosphere? Quick, someone call Tumblr. They'll fix it. By complaining. Alright, let's go back. I'm seriously starting to feel sick. That's where we were going to begin with. Back. Wherever back is. We finally made it back here. Wait, what's that? There's something over there. Oh, that's a little creepy. Oh, that's even more creepy. What is this thing? A, a monkey? A bear? What in the world? That's what I want to know. Who are you guys? <gasps> it talked! Well, I mean, well, it moved. What are you? You, you want to fight? Don't, don't yell at me like that. The bear is cowering in fear. Maybe it would be better to ask him nicely. What are you? I'm a bear. Can't you tell? I live here by myself. Okay, that answers everything. Thank you. I've always lived here. It doesn't have a name. Will that get annoying? You live here? If I was you guys, I'd hurry back to the other side. 
We've been trying. Someone's been throwing people in here. It's a big headache. Huh? Throwing people in? What are you talking about? I don't know who's doing it. I just want them to think before they go doing things like that. Hey, what's your problem? What gives you the right to yell at us like that? To be fair, you have the same amount of right to yell at him. What are you? Where are we? Look, you hurt his feelings. What the heck's going on here? I already told you. Anyways, you should hurry back. What it comes down to is, you want us to get out of here, right? Well, so do we. We just don't know how, damn it. Ah, that's why I'm saying I'll let you out. Like I keep saying, we don't know where the frickin' exit... Wait, what? What the hell? Well, where did these TVs come from? Also, those are old-style TVs. We clearly came in through a new-style one. Can we request a, a change, please? Okay, now go, go, get out of here. I'm a busy bear. What is he busy with? What's going on now? Whoa! Hey, what, what are you doing? S stop pushing! Whoa! Okay, that's a trippy transition. Huh? Is this? Did we make it back? See, I knew we wouldn't die. I knew we weren't doomed at all. No, we're good. Attention shoppers. Our daily limited time sale will now begin at the side dish area on the first floor. Oh good, we didn't miss that. Let's go grab some side dishes. Why not try the delicious fresh produce Juness picked for you this morning as your side dish for dinner tonight? All ages are invited to take advantage of this incredible bargain. Crap, it's already that late? Huh. Looks like we were in there for quite a while. Is this going to be a thing where time moves right. differently? Like Digimon? Or... Digimon? That's all I can think of. I remember where I saw that poster before. Look over there. That's the poster we saw. What's up now? Hey, you're right. They're the same. I, I couldn't tell before without the face, but it was Miss Suzu Hiragi. <gasps> the plot thickens! She's been all over the news lately. Something about her husband having an affair with that announcer lady who died the other day. Hey, so does that mean... That weird room we saw... Could it be related to that Yamano lady's death? Good luck trying to tell the police that. In fact, don't even try telling the police that. Now that I think about it... There was that creepy noose hanging from the ceiling. Yeah, stop! No more! We gotta stop talking about this. I'm going to wipe what happened today from my brain. I don't think my poor heart can take anymore. I'm feeling a chill too. Let's go home. I want to lie down and rest. Well, that was an eventful day, for sure. And maybe we'll have a nice, peaceful supper with no interruptions whatsoever. Oh, hey. We actually might. Hey. Welcome home. Is that ice cream? I'd love some ice cream. You still feel sluggish. Um, well, I doubt you'd know. But have you heard anything about a student named Saki Konishi? Uh, she discovered the body. Yeah, it's true. Kind of hard to hide that fact when everyone knows. Well, to be honest, we got a call from her family. She's disappeared. Ooh, that's not good. We've got people looking for her, but she hasn't been found yet. <sighs> Work just keeps piling up. 
And now, more on the case still casting a shadow over the foggy town of Inaba. Not long ago, television announcer Mayumi Yamano was found dead in the small town. Up until now, her whereabouts prior to her death had been unknown. But the police investigation has found that she had been staying in the region's famous Amagi Inn. Oh boy, here we go. This isn't good. The Amagi Inn. It's the inn that Yukiko's family runs. She had apparently been staying there alone. Perhaps she was taking a vacation to recover from her ordeal? Oh yes, the Amagi Inn. Their hot springs are first rate. Who is this commenter guy? Because he seems incredibly unprofessional for being on a newscast. The manager's teenage daughter also works there, and it's rumored that she'll take over the inn this spring. That is completely unrelated to the murder. If that happens, she'll be one of the youngest managers on record. I should book another trip there. That's creepy to say. Uh, I see. Moving along, it's time for the weather report. The rain has begun to subside. Huh. From now until morning, heavy fog warnings will be in effect in the Inaba region. Visibility will be severely reduced, so please be careful if you plan on driving in the area. The news continues. Just before, the announcer was found dead. She was apparently staying at the Amagi Inn, run by Yukiko's family. Thank you for saying that again, in-game text. And it seems the whereabouts of Saki Konishi, who discovered the body, are unknown. Ooh, ramen. Nice. Give it some more time. Remember what they say, a watched ramen never boils. You sneezed. Riveting RPG gameplay. You feel a slight chill. Are you sick? You're probably still adjusting to the new environment. Oh, you know, me, the li lizard person. Nanako, could you get him some cold medicine? It's a good idea. Nip it in the butt early. You should get to bed after you take it. Good idea. Well, guys, this was part four. It was eventful, to say the least, with uh, the game crashing twice on me. And, uh, you know, we going into the, the world of the TV. So, what a fitting part four. The four meaning death. So, uh, thank you guys for watching, and next time we'll continue onward into the story. Yeah. See you guys next time. Ciao.